For those persons who are applying for disability benefits and you're over the age of 50, the fifth step of the process is really the one where it, the regs help you out a lot. And let me tell you why I say so. There is a chart. And the chart is called the Medical and Vocational Guidelines. And it's set up in like, it's a chart, like a grid, which is why it's ref affectionately referred to as the grids. In that chart, it directs Social Security to make certain disability determinations if the individual meets certain criteria. What do you mean? Well, for instance, if you have someone who can only do a sedentary job and the work that they've done in the past has no transferable skills or if they have skills that don't transfer to anything to that, that level and maybe they have a high school education, sedentary high school education, over the age of, let's say that they're over the age of 50. You know, in some instances, that individual, okay, that individual, uh, under the under the under the guidelines, the grids directs that individual be found disabled. Now, you would say to yourself, why is that so important? Well, it's important because the grids only kicks in. Well, let me take that back. The the grids primarily kicks in once you hit 50. Basically, I, this is why I always tell people. When you're under the age of 50, there's a presumption that you can find other work for you. Unless you can demonstrate that your condition either, one, prevents you from performing simple routine repetitive work, or maybe two, prevents you from being able to perform even sedentary work and so forth. And under most circumstances, Social Security is not going to have a hard time finding other work for you to do. So you have to really, your medical condition is to really be off the chain. However, once you hit the magical age of 50, Vocational guide, the medical vocational guidelines of the grids becomes applicable, and it usually comes more to your favor at that particular point. So, not too long ago, we had a discussion where I said they're going to look at your past work, and they're going to want to know, looking at your past work, did you have any skills that were transferable to other jobs in a particular area, whether it be sedentary, light, medium, things of that nature? Because the answer to that question may direct the fact finder, which would be the judge or the adjudicator or whatever, to look to the grids as a guidance in terms of whether or not you satisfy the criteria for being found disabled. So like I said, in the medical vocational guidelines, let's say you're a person who is, let's say you're 56. You're 56 years old, you didn't graduate from high school, you've done all unskilled work, and you can only do a sedentary job. Under those four criteria, the, regula the medical vocational guidelines typically will dictate that you should be found disabled. See how that thing works out a little bit differently? Which is why I tell people that once you hit over the age of 50, the way Social Security looks at you is a little bit differently than when you're under the age of 50. Because when you're under the age of 50, you're deemed to be a younger individual. And so the regulations are not as always user-friendly for you. But once you get over the age of 50, we start ruling out the work that you've done in the past and start looking at whether you've a true, uh, got any skills from your past work. Those things will go a long way towards determining whether or not it's perceived or believed. You would say.